Good evening. Today we will be installing and modifying our exhaust headers. These guys. So these are the exhaust headers. And these exhaust headers unfortunately need to be removed from the N54 engine before you install it. Once you install the engine, you can easily put these in and it fits without interference. Unfortunately, that's not really gonna fly because exhaust headers are typically very difficult to remove. We're going to take these and modify them in such a way that allows us to maintain the stock CATs, stock O2 sensors, and to prevent it from having to remove before you remove and install the engine. So before we do that, we need to cut the existing CATs off and relocate them. stubborn bolts, it is best to use oxygen and map gas with a flint. It can't be stuck if it's a liquid. Guys, when you're cutting a cross section of a tight radius bend of any exhaust size, you have to make sure that you're cutting it along the center line of that bend radius. Because if you don't, what you're gonna end up getting is a cut like this. This cut is not good. When you try mating it up with a flat, flat piece, you're gonna see that you're gonna get this weird type of overlap here, right? And when you, when you end up welding them together, it's gonna look something like this. It doesn't look good, it looks unprofessional. This side is professional, not professional, but you, it, it's better cut, okay? And you can see when you do made it up, it's a nice, even cut at a great cross section that goes right through the center point of the radius of the actual bend itself. I use a hair tie or a rubber band. Actually, hair ties are better than rubber bands because it, it moves better along the bend, I'll show you, than this, okay? This is a good cut, bad cut. Good, bad, good, bad, good, bad, good, bad, good. Okay. This is what I use now. A hair tie. All you gotta do is run it along where, exactly where you need it and you can see that it conforms to the radius of your bend every time. So for cylinders four, five, and six, we have our exhaust header coming out of the turbo and into the catalytic converter. Now I cut this off. It's a double wall thick tube. We're gonna be welding this up down to the cat and eventually to our two and a half inch V-band. You can see I got the passenger motor mount bracket installed as well. Now I know my clearances. V-band clamps. They are the ultimate exhaust clamps. Why? Because they align, easy to install, easy to hook up. The ones that you need to buy, and you need to be aware of this because the cheaper ones do not have this feature, is the centering locking feature. You can see that there is still an inner, uh, inner uh, raised cut here as part of the machining process, and it mates with the machined cut on the opposite mating end. That allows your V-band to be perfectly aligned every time. Uh, quick and easy to remove exhaust. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, three bolts that are bolting up and going into a welded nut or something like that. Um, they are stainless steel, so they're resistant to corrosion. We're gonna go with two and a half inch all around.
So I banged back the footwell. I was able to mount the cat above the four, the, the one, two, and three headers. And that allows it go, to go from a side-by-side -side mounting look configuration to an up and down configuration. And that gives me the narrowness that I need in order to install and remove the engine without having to disconnect the exhaust headers. So here I am with the cylinders, I don't know, four, five, and six exhaust header or manifold. And uh, I'm at the point now where I've got enough bends and, uh, and turns in here that I can now just make an interconnecting uh, straight pipe and I've got that length set. I'm gonna give that guy a cut and then I'm gonna tack it all up and I'm gonna see how this thing fits. Again, you don't want any interferences uh, between each other, between the V-bands, between the transmission, and the firewall um, or the passenger footwell. So you really want to make sure that you got all of everything set up and accurate. But yeah, I got one, two, three, four, four bends and two straight, actually five bends. So yeah, I got a lot, I got a lot going on here with this piece and, uh, and I got to weld it all up next, so. Good movement. I mean, it's moving because of the tax, but generally, there's clearance. Take a look at height. Height's good. Output looks good. This should be pretty easy. Not bad. At this point, we'll remove them and we'll give them a couple of good, really good, strong tacks. And uh, we're pretty much good. play in both directions, which is exactly what you want, okay? And now each of these guys is going to be easily separable to the rest of the exhaust. And these are going to be the only V-band v clamps in the entire system. All right, guys, that is all for me today. Exhaust manifolds, downpipes, done. I am tired, I am dirty, and I am going to take a break. Guys, if you like the content, subscribe, like, let me know what you think, comment down below, and take a look at all my other videos that I've got going on for this E36 M54 swap.